Hi, this is Wilman Ziara, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And before I get to the interview with the one and only acclaimed performer, Moses Jackson, here is a sneak peek at his incredible comedy. Why are you guys like naked? Shut up, slut face mouth. Thank you, Moses. How many times am I gonna be called a slut today? Tis not walk around with slutty, sweaty balls, more. <laughs> My balls are slutty? Maybe too, too many tomatoes for the narrow mouth of a slut man over here. We have more. <laughs> Where's this coming from? Where's this coming from? <laughs> I'm not a slut, man. You got a slutty mouth, bro. Had, you gotta prove it. I hooked up with it. some guys. What? You hooked up with guys? One time. One time? Three. Three? One guy, three. One time, three, times. three guys. Three one, times with three one guy. Three guys, one time. With, the, with one guy? Your soft mouth stenches of male scrotum. <laughs> Tell me more and more. Well, hello, Moses. How are you? I'm doing great, man. It's a beautiful day in LA. I can't complain. And a beautiful day here in Manhattan. And this is what I love about Phoenix. We are connected despite living on separate coasts and we are talking art. And I'm so grateful. The audience just got a sneak peek of your incredible comedic timing and talent. With the viral video, We Became Knights. Moses, I want to know first and foremost, when did you know that you had the funny bone? Um, I kind of knew I had a funny bone when I was a kid. I used to always perform for all of my family members. Every time they came to visit, I would like run upstairs and you know put on the most ridiculous clothes and then come down. Um, and I just like, I, I knew I had it in me, but I was just, it was something that it was so scary at the same time. I wanted to do it, but it scared me. So that was kind of like, maybe this is for me. I love that. I think that's such a great also reminder for young artists out there who sometimes seem to steer away from what scares them, but it's actually the fear that I think activates a vulnerability and a truth that allows an artist to truly, I think, enter their flow and bliss. I'm curious for you, was there a moment in your early career where you had like one of those flow moments whether it was in front of an audience or doing a sketch show or someone just laughing at a joke you made and you were like, I could possibly do this for a living. Yeah, well, I started acting and when I first started acting, it was just drama. I was just getting like typecast, like, you know, like muscles, tattoos, let's throw this guy there. And it was like my first, like uh, my, my, my coach, my acting coach was talking about comedy and it scared the crap out of me. And then I was on set um, and it required improv and I was just, I was just kind of scared, but I was actually performing as I was scared. And then like, you know, the director pulled me aside. It's like, Hey, how long have you been improv? And I'm just like today, <laughs> you know? So it was just like, you know, I just kind of got it right off. Like, you know, I had people who, who've been in this industry for a while, who was just actually like, you know, I've been like, you know, like, you know, my, my acting has been appreciated, but nothing, you know, improv, which is completely alien to me. So it was just to know that, you know, I did have some skills that I acquired back in the day that kind of fit in that realm was awesome. It's amazing, Moses. I mean, look at, as we both know, as artists, some of our best comedians of all time, male and female, they studied drama. They studied true grounded acting, because as we also both know, the best comedy comes from truth. And so I'm curious to know for you of projects that you might have ideas about or maybe that you film that aren't out yet, are there any that aren't released yet that you're excited about that you can maybe give us like a little sneak peek? That I'm um, excited about? Um, to Be Mellow, um, it's my first supporting film, uh, so, excuse me, my first supporting role in a feature film. Um, right now it's being, uh, uh, shown at uh, uh, 22 film festivals around the world. And I got it off of Craigslist, no audition, um, just got it off a reel that was gifted to me. And it was amazing. I moved to LA in a, 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 a old RV from New York, you know, slept on the beach. And so for that, it was my, it was my first, was my first one. So I did, at first I didn't expect much out of it, but then I thought of the mindset, it was the first, acting gig that I went and I was like, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna put on a veil. I'm gonna be me. I'm gonna bring everything I have. And I just had fun. And come to find out this thing is winning your know, awards around the world. And it's coming to uh, Santa Monica Film Festival to be sold next week. So it's amazing right now. 
Moses, I think it's amazing. And I think, again, a testament to you risking it all, making the move from the east to the left coast, the left coast, the west coast. Well, it is the left coast, too. But also sleeping on a beach, risking it all and just saying, F it, I'm going to go for it and be my most authentic self, because what do I have to lose? And it's in those moments you read about all the time in famous people's memoirs, you know, it's when they just didn't give an ish that that's when the flow began. That's such a beautiful reminder and a great story, Moses. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I see a lot of people, I see people come and I see a lot of people go. And I just, I feel like everything is like, hey, you know, am I, am, I, am I strong enough? Am I tall enough? Do I look good enough? And then I kind of realize it's just the effort. And it's just like, you know, I look at, it's like, hold on, I've been acting now for going on three years. And, you know, day one, it was just like going and being background, playing audience. And you, you know, it was just, you know, getting, you know, acclimated to sets, you know, to, and then you keep sharpening that tool, working that muscle. And then pretty soon it's, it's, you know, you're, you're making a living off of it, you know, so it's cool. Well, listen, you're, you're, you're a testament to hard work, a testament to putting ego aside and doing it all, whether it's background work, just to kind of, again, like you said, sharpen the tools, put more tools in that tool belt. And lo and behold, you are now a major supporting role in a film playing festivals all around the world, winning awards. And I know this is just the beginning for you, Moses. And I want to let our audience know for more on the incredible Moses Jackson. You can read more about him right below this video. Moses, God bless you. And thank you so much for your time today. And I'm so happy that you're joining this amazing new social media platform. Yo, thank you so much, Will. Um, this is amazing. The app looks awesome. Like, you know, sometimes I think like people, they they spend, they they demonize people spending time on their phone because they're on like, you know, the, all these apps that are just about drama and stuff. But it's just like, if you take that same time and invest it into a, a, a platform and really getting yourself out there, it's just like, yeah, that's marketing. That's, you know, self-marketing. So it's awesome. That's amazing, my friend. Well, I couldn't have said it any better myself. And again, I am so grateful that we're connected now. Thanks, Will.